Schneider is suing the producers of the Quiet on Set docuseries for portraying him as an alleged child sexual abuser. The Drake and Josh creator is taking legal action against the producers of the docuseries Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, which accused him of inappropriate behavior on the sets of his Nickelodeon shows in the 1990s and 2000s. In the legal documents obtained by E! News May 1st, Schneider says the series falsely implies he was a child sex abuser by including him in the documentary alongside Brian Peck, who was sentenced to 16 months in prison on charges stemming from a child sex abuse case involving Drake Bell. Schneider, 58, states he was not complicit in the abuse and, quote, condemned the abuse once it was discovered and, critically, was not a child sexual abuser himself. In the filing, Schneider's lawyers call the documentary a, quote, hit job against the producer, who created series including The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, iCarly, and Victorious, before exiting the network in 2018. According to the lawsuit, Quiet on Set defamed him while pursuing, quote, clickbait, ratings, and views, or simply put, money. Following the filing, Schneider says in a statement to E! News that he had no choice but to take legal action against the production companies for insinuating he was involved in or facilitated horrific crimes. He adds, there is no doubt that I was sometimes a bad leader. I am sincerely apologetic and regretful for that behavior, and I will continue to take accountability for it. I have no objection to anyone highlighting my failures as a boss, but it is wrong to mislead millions of people to the false conclusion that I was in any way involved in heinous acts like those committed by child predators. Schneider continues, I owe it to myself, my family, and the many wonderful people involved in making these shows to set the record straight. Dan previously addressed Quiet on Set, issuing an apology after some former child actors detailed times they felt uncomfortable on set or were made to wear inappropriate costumes. He said in a YouTube video March 19th, Watching over the past two nights was very difficult, me facing my past behaviors. Um, some of which are embarrassing and that I regret, and I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Every one of those jokes was written for a kid audience because kids thought they were funny, mm -hmm. and only funny, okay? Um, now we have some adults looking back at them 20 years later through their lens, and they're looking at them and they're saying, oh, you know, I don't think that's appropriate for, for a kid show. Mm -hmm. and. I have no problem with that. If, if that's how anyone feels, let's cut those jokes out of the show. We had executives in LA. We had executives in New York. So two coasts. Two coasts okay. of, of, of approval, coasts. yes. And, not, and by the way, approval at every stage, really. Okay. And I'm talking about wardrobe. I'm talking about makeup, sound, sets, dialogue, jokes, everything. And we're also shooting it in front of all sorts of adults and caregivers and the set teacher and, and the families, everybody's watching it. And if anybody had said anything, hey, we don't like that, that's not appropriate, then it would have been cut out. E! News has reached out to Investigation Discovery for comment on the lawsuit on behalf of Nickelodeon, Warner Brothers Discovery, Maxine Productions, and Sony Pictures Television, but hasn't heard back. <laughs> Oh boy, I never thought I called out fucking Dan Schneider again. I never call. I never thought I called out this fat bastard again. Cause look what I fucking heard from uh, Spirit of Twenty One. He provided me with this news. Give me one second. Let me just show you the fucking. Let me show you the fucking info right here. Look at this shit right here, bro. Look at this shit right here. Look at this shit right here. Look at this fucking bullshit right here. This fat bastard fucking suing people now? Are you fucking serious? Look at this shit right here right now, y'all. What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Just fucking wow, bro. Round two, motherfucker. Round two, bitch. You're, it's fucking on. Round two, bitch. It's fucking on, bro. We're suing people now. Are you fucking serious, Dan Schneider? What the fuck? Three, two, one! Why, hello there, everybody. This is Braxton Lenny. And I am here with Spare Dude 21.
And we are gonna be exposing Dan Schneider, since this punk ass bitch is suing the producers of Quiet on Set, the dark side of kids TV. Well gosh gosh be gosh, so apparently that dimwit Dan Schneider is suing Quiet on Set. So reliable sources like E! News, People Magazine, and Entertainment Tonight have all confirmed that these rumors about Dan Schneider suing Quiet on Set are true. And this is more proof that Dan Schneider is a frickin' coward who is not taking responsibility for his actions. Are you fucking kidding me? We all have seen the goddamn evidence that he's a proven child predator, so why the hell is he suing Quiet on Set for speaking the truth about him? <laughs> you serious?
Spear Dude thinks this is a load of bullshit, and if Dan Schneider wins this case, then that would be complete BULLSHIT! Because there's shitloads of goddamn evidence that Dan Schneider is guilty towards all the damn allegations about him. Why the hell are you suing quiet on set, Dan Schneider? You damn foolish dimwit. This is bullshit. Dan Schneider can claim sexualizing children is mistakes all he wants, but sexualizing children is not mistakes. It's being a frickin' creep and a frickin' child predator, because any grown man or woman who isn't a child predator would know better not to do that. The point that documentary was trying to make about him is that he's a child predator who sexualized children on his shows and was even bragging about writing all the scripts during the time he was doing the shows. And in his fake apology video, he lied and Seneca Lodian told him to do that shit. You know what? This, this is bullshit. This is bullshit! And all the shit Dan Schneider did has child predator written all over it, since there's lots of real evidence that he sexualized kids on a children's TV network. Oh, hey, Rage Master, what's good, cuz? You can't but look at this shit, bro. You Look at this shit right here. Also, shout out to my man, Spiritu21, for this shit, bro. For providing me with this shit right here, bro. Because look at this shit, bro. I, I just, I just fucking can't believe this shit, man. Just, just wow. Just fucking wow, man. Oh, let me send people to you. Anyways, uh. Let me let my man Brick in. I'm gonna I'm see what Brick thinks about this shit right here. All right, Brick oh Johnson, boy. what do you have to say, Mr. Johnson? Oh boy, ready for round two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want? Yeah, you're not ready uh, for this, man. You can't handle my heat. You are still us, still us, motherfucker. Oh, wait, you're fucking scared. It, 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 yeah, so, not, Mr. He, he Johnson, what do you think about this? He, he has not learned his lesson from the apology. He apologized because he got caught. That's what you exactly. did. That's he what he did. An apology. He wasn't serious. And now and, and he hasn't uh -uh. learned from the backlash he got. He got more dislikes. Now he's doing this shit. <laughs> like he, he needs oh, to yeah. <laughs> possibly get and possibly get something uh straight back to them, you know, like one of the comments says. I hope the survivors sue him. Yeah, like they should be like yeah. firecack. What's good, Spirit Dude? You're just in time. What's good, force leader? How's it been, bro? How's it been? You just, you just, I never thought I had to do this stream again. Man, oh I, boy. It's like, it's like, it's like, like this, like this, this pedo still won't learn. It's like, it's like, man, if we, we should, like, he needs to be holed down and maybe have his beard shave off because predators don't deserve beards. Yeah, they don't deserve wait, that I shit. The, I, I can't wait for the others to possibly respond to this too. Yeah, after what you put them through. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what Alexa Nicholas has to say about this. Yeah. Be, but, but, but to be fair, like, I hope he loses this case, and I hope he uh, somehow uh, goes to jail or possibly a uh, 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 prison for uh, for uh, for possibly uh, filing um, a fraudulent uh, suit or something if he gets found liable for that. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and this is also spread to the other servers that have, that, that have seen, uh, also posted about uh, Dan Schneider. So yeah, not everyone else knows wrong. about it. So yeah. Oops, wrong group chat. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's right here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. From, at least this is from a reliable source. Like, Spirit Dude can, uh, can, can back us up that this is, uh, E! News is one of the few reliable sources. Yeah, I'm making parts. Ah, oh, shit! Hey, yo, Spirit Dude, you're free to use this clip if you want to. Yeah. It's like, I've seen the quiet on set. They had some pretty damning evidence from people who have worked with them. And those people who are working, who worked with Dan, they are not lying. So Dan thinks they're liars. Well, you're full of shit. Yeah, yeah. How you know they're li liars, wise ass? Think you're you're the you're clearly the liar. You don't, bro. You don't. No, no. You apologize. No, that apology was fake. You apologize. 
you apologize all because you got caught, think, bro. I, I don't think those women can forgive you for making them have to sit there and do work and you never let them use the bathroom. Yeah, exactly, man. You don't let people take a break, bro. You're fucking... You don't let... You just peer pressure people. You don't let these people take a break. All Jay. right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, what? Oh, what is it, Kaiju? Did you did you saw did you saw my my video? Oh yeah, I saw. Oh, it's speaking okay. of which, like um, this is the, the this is probably even though the E channel that this is from, like even though their channel's not that good, they had some crappy reality shows. This is one of the few good things about their channel because they're a reliable source, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not even into their reality shows, but. But yeah, I only at, least the the news, at least the news sites, at least the yeah. news sites, their social media, they are reliable. Yeah, I only, I only like them as a news station thing. But, anyways, Dan Schneider sues on, quiet on set producers for illegal for le- allegedly portraying him. Oh, welcome back. That, that, allegedly that, portraying know. him as a child sexual abuser. Former Nickelodeon all right, producer. All right, let's talk about this. Let's think here. First off, it's stupid he's trying to sue them. He, oh, yes, funny guys here. Okay, first off, Ready it's stupid he's trying to sue these All guys. right, what's going even on? Though they're clearly in the wrong. Uh, I'll, I'll explain in a second, funny guy. I'll give you, explain in a second. Secondly, what does he? What proof does he even have to, like, support him in court that he, he's in the right here? Like, like, what proof does he even have? He's not in the right. They're he's trying in the to wrong. Sue the people. Funny guy. Dan's trying to sue the people responsible, like the producers of... Yeah, look at this. Over. Oh, 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 over, yeah. over, um, over the allegations, yeah. which are true about yeah. Look at this shit, bro. Look at this. So, Dan Schneider's trying to sue the Quiet On Set producers. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. No joke. No joke. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. I'm literally on the fucking E! News site, bro, because this is fucking serious. Obviously, okay. I can't say certain things that the documentary talked about because YouTube would flag the video, but... When Kaiju showed me or told me about this documentary and I watched it, I was shocked, bro. Like, I called to, like, after I was done, I was like, y- you were not kidding. This shit's fucked. I want right, that motherfucker going to take the fucking right, jail. Everyone quiet. Everyone shut, 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 shut. So, Dream Dan is suing the documentary? Wow. No surprise there. Hold on. Let me see. What, let's hear what Sonic has to say. Wow. So, Dream Dan is suing the documentary? Wow. No surprise there. I, I agree with you, Sonya. No surprise. Yeah, yeah that motherfucker yeah. deserves to go to fucking jail. All right, let's read what this article article say. Uh, former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider sued the production company behind the Quiet on Set documentaries, which accused him of inappropriate behaviors on his TV shows. Oh, so now Warner Bros. Oh, is boo, fucking boo! Nobody's getting sued yeah, by boo. Dan Schneider as well. Oh, Man, boo, boo, fucking boo! boo. I, wait, I, wait, I, wait. I, 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 everyone, let's keep reading. Yeah, Dan Schneider is a crybaby. Like, like, yeah. we don't want to fucking hear him, Dan Schneider. Stop fucking crying, bitch. Like, 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 he was like, you know, he was crying. He was fake crying. The apology, he is a crybaby. He's not so, really. Yeah, I'm definitely not. gonna throw that fake defamation lawsuit out the of the window. Yeah, yeah stop Schneider fucking crying, crying, Schneider. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to fucking hear it. All right, whoever was not reading, be quiet. So who was reading? I don't know who was reading, but whoever was uh, reading. I was reading. Jay, All right. Dan right. Schneider is firing back. Firing. Yeah, firing it. Yeah, fire back. Fire. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck. What kind of fire is that? Yeah, no. that Ooh, nobody gives a shit. No your fucking place. Trash. Which accused, okay, in the legal documents obtained by E! News May 1st, Snyder said the series falsely implied he was a child sex abuser, abuser by including him in the documentary alongside Brian Peck. Okay, Brian Peck, no matter how much he wants to deny, or people want to deny, that is an actual pedophile. He actually, he literally was. If you don't yeah, know he what is. He, he's, about, a, he, he's a sex offender. Everyone, right, everyone, everyone lose your mics. I'm, I need, all right, all right, thank you. Following the filing, Snyder said in the in the statement to E News that he had no cho- no choice. Yeah, no. What, what do you mean you have no choice? I mean, you it's could just legal. not sue them. You don't need to sue them. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it could just not to take, them. Yeah, take legal action against productions or wait, who's the production the companies? Hell? Like Warner Bros. Discovery is being sued. Yeah, exactly. Person, no choice, my ass. And no choice, my ass. What? What the fuck does that mean? No choice. Yeah. What? What? What does no choice means? You wise ass. To yeah. take legal action against production companies for. Hold on. What does? What the fuck does this word say? In suing. In in suing. I I can't pronounce that either. So, okay. That in situating. In situating. In situating. He was involved for factuated, heretic, heretic, I don't know, whatever the fuck you say. What the fuck is he talking about? There is no doubt that I was. So At least he admits it. Yeah, I mean, there is no doubt I was sometimes a bad leader, but I, I was sincere, I'm sincerely a part of Jake because I'm. Nah, 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 nah. No, yeah, no, it's man. the other way around. You nah. got caught. You got. You got caught. You said you. Nah, you're sorry because you got caught. Yeah. <laughs> the prison meddler. No choice, my ass. Yeah, you could have just not sued them. You could have just ignored it. Literally, you could have just ignored it. Yeah. I was. All right. Was... Let's, 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 let's read what Schneider has to say. There is no yep. doubt that I was sometimes a bad leader. I am sincerely apologetic and regretful for that behavior, and I will continue to take accountability for it. I have no objection to anyone highlighting my failures as a boss, but it is wrong to mislead millions of people to the false conclusion that I was in any way involved in heinous acts like those committed by child predators. Bullshit! Bullshit! BS. Kaiju, let it out! Yeah, let there out, was Kaiju. proof that you did hurt uh, people like Jeanette McCurdy, Ariana Grande, and others. So don't give me uh, What's up? Let it out, said, let it all out? The anger. Let it out. Bull fucking shit, you fat fuck Schneider. So Dan, so Dan Schneider continued by saying, I owe it to myself, my family, and the many wonderful people involved in making these shows to set the record straight. You never praised them. You took advantage of them. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You didn't yeah, set the record straight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Alright, what does it it's say? not alert bucks, goofy fucks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me read yeah. this. Also, also David had other shows. Wait, 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 wait Nick Cat wants to read. Snyder previously addressed right on the issue an apology. I just some former child actors include Leon Furson and Alexa Nicholas. I think they were both in the documentary. Detailed times they felt uncomfortable on set where they had to wear inappropriate costumes. Yes, they talked about that in the documentary. They talked about that. Oh, God. What the fuck? Dude, they they talked about that. Remember that kid they had to put peanut butter all over him? There, there was also oh, some yeah. in, in the documentary, they also talked about there's also inappropriate things uh, in the shows, like all that. And even uh, even they also, and also uh, Penelope Tate is a reference to... Uh, yeah, and, yeah and, there, and there was a behind-the-scenes bonus set where Dan Schneider was in the fuck, was literally in the fucking swimming pool with Amanda Bynes, getting closer and next to her. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. He was mm -hmm. in the swimming pool with Amanda Bynes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, remember that scene I showed you? Yeah. It's yeah, like, what the fuck? Well, okay, it even though this is from the YouTube video, I'll read it. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult for me. Facing my past behavior, some which are embarrassing that I regret. And I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. <laughs> yeah, right. He admitted that he could see the hurt in their eyes on the show, adding, We have some adults looking back at them 20 years later through their what? lives looking at them and they're saying, Oh, you know, I don't think that's appropriate for a kid's show. You, you don't even see the hurt in their eyes, dummy. What the fuck? Yo, big job, stop, Snyder. Fuck is wrong with you? You don't see no fucking hurt? I don't see any fucking hurt. Exactly! Shut the fuck up, Dan Shine, you fat ass big baloney jabroni! Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see, uh. Oh, yeah, I think you read this part. There we go. E News has reached out to Investigation Discovery for the comments on the lawsuit on the behalf of Nickelodeon and Warner Brothers Discovery and Maxi Productions and Sony Brothers, Sony Pictures Television. Hasn't heard back. Damn. Look at this, man. 
What a mess. When I oh. yeah, when I saw the stream yard, I was like, "All right, what did Dirty Dan do now?" Yep. Yeah, and also that 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 talks about the Drake Bell stuff and how Drake Bell was innocent that he he apologized yeah. for having contact and all that. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Schneider's apologies and props to the laughter of the all that uh, response of internal premiere of Quiet on Set sat down for an interview with Sai Carly after actor Boogie. For Tebow. Tebow was yeah, never like, how, like, how dare how dare he do that with Dan Schneider? Like what the fuck? Why what the fuck Tebow the for defending him? Why couldn't Dan Schneider just do it on the fucking documentary? Yeah, you're just as bad as Dan, Tebow, man. You, you, man, you're you, defending you, a fucking you, pedophile, bro. You guys should have came forward in the documentary. Yeah, like this fucking bastard right here deserves to be in fucking prison. Yeah. I'll be honest, I never liked Tebow to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, he was never fucking funny to begin with. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you, man? What the fuck's wrong with your head? In which the producer for apo apologized for any ghoulish and sensitive behavior, denied allegations of discrimination or sexualizing young actors and shows. Yeah. I never cared for Tebow's character. Oh, even oh, guess who also? Oh, look, even Spirit Dude never cared of her like Tebow to begin with. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, 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 agree I, on the guy. Like yeah, you, yeah, too. yeah. Honestly, props to Jerry Trainer for saving them, bro. Jerry Trainer is a fucking real one, bro. He's a fucking hero. Yeah, he's a real deal. Yeah, because yeah, he's, he's a mother. At least that's one good thing about it. At least he saved the other actors from being um too close to Dan Schneider. Yeah, yeah. he's a mother. Yeah, yeah. Shout out goes to Jerry Trainer. He's a motherfucking real one right here, bro.
and that's all Spear Dude has for his part. So here is Braxton Lenny with his part to exposing this piece of shit Dan Schneider. What I don't understand is, how the hell is he gonna make a fake ass apology video of him admitting that the shit in the documentary is true? But now he's saying the documentary is defamation of character towards him? Bullshit, motherfucker! Holy shit. This dude fucking contradicted himself with this shit. So it says here that, Dan Schneider has sued the producers of the series Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, for defamation over what he's called a hit job. That falsely implies he sexually abused child stars, of the Nickelodeon shows he created. Where in the documentary? Did they ever say that you had sex with the children or raped the children? They never fucking said that, you stupid son of a bitch. They were exposing you for sexualizing children on the kids shows that you made, and for being very rude and shitty to tons of people that you worked with, and being a horrible boss to the people that you worked with. Wow! There are child predators who have done sexual shit with children, and child predators who haven't done sexual shit with children. Just because there's no evidence that Dan Schneider had sex with children, that does not mean that he isn't a child predator, because he most certainly is a child predator. And Alexa Nicholas, and tons of other people who worked with Dan Schneider, can confirm this. Dan Schneider also claims the shit he did was a mistake? Bullshit, motherfucker! Ha, huh, nope, you motherfucker. Sexualizing kids is not mistakes. A grown-ass man sexualizing kids, and telling kids to make sexual jokes without them understanding what the jokes actually mean, is child predator type behavior. And that is not mistakes at all. Sexualizing children is very disgusting, and Dan Schneider deserves to be exposed for the piece of crap that he truly is. And I am very goddamn glad that Jeanette McCurdy exposed him. I'm very glad that Alexa Nicholas exposed him. And I'm very glad that tons of other people who worked with him, also exposed him too. If y'all are gonna support celebrities, then support celebrities who are great people, like Selena Gomez, Ariana Grande, Miranda Cosgrove, and other celebrities who are great people. Don't support celebrities who are shitty people, like Dan Schneider, Chris Brown, R. Kelly, and other celebrities who are shitty people, because they don't deserve to be supported. Me and Spear Dude love Ariana Grande's music, and Selena Gomez's music, but we actually are bigger fans of them as people than we are their music. And I'm glad that Spear Dude made those videos, showing hundreds and hundreds, of all the amazing things that Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande have done over the years. Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande are amazing people, and they deserve to be treated with respect for the amazing people that they are. And fuck the media for lying about them, and fuck the retards who believe the media's lies about them. They deserve to be supported, but Dan Schneider does not deserve to be supported. And that's all I have to fucking say, 
So peace out to everybody.